sure. So it, it is a map of part of the universe when it was 400,000 years old or a bit younger. Um, and, it, you know, it comes, you see an oval, but that's like a map unwrapped from around you on the sky. So it's like a sphere unwrapped onto, you know, a flat piece of paper. The colors, so, so the color measures the temperature of the light. So where it's red, it's ever so slightly hotter than average. Where it's blue, it's ever so slightly colder than average. It kind of looks a bit weird, but it's actually, that's what the universe looked like back very early on. Now, typically, the universe was very featureless back then. You know, all of the things we see in the sky now, planets, stars, galaxies, none of them were around back then. And so the universe was almost, yeah, completely smooth, but it had these tiny little lumps or little irregularities in space. And they were kind of the things that would much later grow to form stars. And there's also there's the blobs, the red and, blue, red and blue blobs on that map are these tiny little irregularities, these tiny lumps in space. To begin with, just, just the existence of light is really significant for the, a Big Bang having happened at all, because it sort of it sort of arises if the universe all started off very hot and condensed down in a very, you know, in, in this Big Bang state, you'd expect this light to exist. But I mean, that, we, that we've known for a while. We've measured this light, existence of this light for a long time. But what it's telling us that's new is what was going on just after the Big Bang in the first a trillionth of a trillionth of a second.